Hello and welcome to the art part of today class, the part where we're going to get creative. So today we are going to be making an Easter quilt. So a quilt is made up of a number of squares that they put together. So this is what we're going to be making. So the first thing that we have to do today is to develop or design or create this grid pattern. So this is what we're going to use. This is what is going to start by looking at. So if you have a ruler as a straight edge, you're going to make a line. If you need to use the width, you can use, make this as you're going. If you want to be tricky, you can measure out along the edge one inch either way. And if you don't have a ruler and you're using something like this for a straight edge, just try to make them evenly spaced. It's all good. We just want to have six spaces this way. And then we're going to make six lines coming down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. These are called the columns. One, two, and I'm gonna keep going, and have six rows. Now, with this extra part, it's easy. I am just going to cut it off when I'm done. So, that my quilt will be the correct size. So don't worry about that part. So this is what we're going to end up with. You have to decide which one is going to be your top and it's your columns. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Running up and down are going to be your rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rows and columns. Now, this is where the fun begins. We're going to use a dice. So since I don't have a dice, I decided to ask Google. Hey Google, roll the dice. Hey Google, I've got four. So the E, of Easter is going to go in column one, row four. Hey Google, roll the dice. It's three. She said three. So I'm going to go to row two and in column three, I'm going to do my A. I'm going to spell out Easter in my spot. I've already done this, so I asked Google and she set it up and this is what my letter part looks like. Now on to part three because every single space has to be filled. You're going to have a picture of this, so don't worry. So. Because we have two columns, we're going to have to use a coin toss. So since I have no money left, I had to ask Google. And I said, Google, flip a coin. She said, heads. Hey Google, roll a dice. She said one. So I'm going to heads and one. That's how I'm going to fill in my first column. Hey Google, flip a coin. She said heads. Hey Google, roll a dice. So 
I'm in heads and I'm at four. So my next box, I'm going to put this in. So you have a copy of this. I actually took a picture of it so that you can fill it in. This is my work of art so far. So my next box, I'm going to fill in and I'm going to say, hey Google, flip a coin. And then I'm going, so I have the heads, and then I'm going to say, hey, Google, roll a dice. So going back to here, too many things going on, and then I know what I'm going to do. Good luck. Have fun. Do your best. If you get sick of filling out different parts, what I'm looking for is each of the square filled out. When you're done, take a picture, put it up, let me see. I will show you what mine look like. I want to wish everybody a happy Easter. I don't know if you've heard that the Easter Bunny is a, called an essential service. So I know that the Easter Bunny is going to come to my house. I hope that the Easter Bunny will come to your house. And if she doesn't, then that's okay too because I know there's so much going on at this time. She just may have gotten lost. Happy Easter, everybody, if you choose to celebrate Easter and enjoy your long weekend. I will see you again on Tuesday. I think next week we're going to start doing some music activities along with our art. So take care. I miss you all and have a really good day. Thank you.